Congress is trying to figure out who's to blame for the collapse of Solyndra, the solar panel company that filed for bankruptcy last week after running through more than half a billion dollars of taxpayer stimulus money. John Blackstone tells us House Republicans are pointing fingers at the White House. For the Obama administration, this was supposed to be a shining example of what $500 million in stimulus could achieve. Instead, Solyndra's solar panel factory operated for less than a year before the company declared bankruptcy two weeks ago. At a congressional hearing today, House Republicans presented excerpts from emails suggesting the Obama administration rushed the Solyndra loan. Representative Steve Scalise read from an Office of Management and Budget message urging caution. Quote, this deal is not ready for prime time. Go to the next slide. Eight. Given the time pressure we are under to sign off on Solyndra, we don't have time to change the model. Jeffrey Zients of the OMB said the administration was simply asking about the timing for a groundbreaking ceremony. There was a request from the vice president's office about scheduling logistics for a potential event. The loan was approved, and in May 2010, the president visited Solyndra's factory, still under construction. Solyndra expects to hire a thousand workers to manufacture solar panels and sell them across America and around the world. Solyndra boasted about its advanced technology, but now there are suspicions its political connections were at least as important in securing its huge government loan. The biggest investor in Solyndra is Oklahoma billionaire George Kaiser, a major fundraiser for the Obama presidential campaign. Obama being there, you know, everybody figured, okay, this company uh, can't fail. Peter Kolstad was among a thousand workers laid off when it did fail. You know, all the news that's coming out, um, you wonder where you know, a lot of the money went. Where the money went is undoubtedly what FBI and Department of Energy investigators were looking for when they raided Solyndra last week. And it is what Solyndra executives are certain to be asked when they're called before the same congressional committee next week. John Blackstone, CBS News, Fremont, California.